All right, hello, hello. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to uber fling. I'm going to be doing a fling, a super fling, and then the uber fling, all of which have different methods, but they all should be rather easy to understand because I'll make it easy to understand because if I'm able to understand it, then you should too because I'm pretty fucking stupid. So regular fling, this should be just a uh, regular keybinds. Like you don't need that much for it. So if I go into settings and show you the keybinds, what you will need is space set to jump and jump no fault. Vault, you need that to be set to any bind that you really want. And also slide, slide set to left control for me. So basically go over to a voltable object. It has to be voltable. Um, this map doesn't really have too many of them, but if say for instance, I have this one here. So control, alt, and then space. You'll see that I got flung, but you see, I got killed and I don't want that. Preferably, you want to set it to 60 FPS, so don't despawn. Uh, we'll get to super fling and ultra fling when that happens, but for here, you should be able to just... You'll get a little fling, but you won't go far because of the speed cap. And uh, this is where the unfortunate part comes in. I'm going to be using macros, yes. There's going to be macros for the super fling. Uh, not for the ultra fling, actually. There's going to be only one, but for the super fling, I need two. So if I pull out... A macro, which I'll probably put in the description because I couldn't really care less. It will be a desync macro. And then what you want to do is set the file directory to your Roblox player beta executable, which should look something like this. Now with this, you need to download AutoHotkey 1.1, which is the deprecated version. I'll also leave that in like the description. I'll run it again. It should theoretically work. So if we find a place where we can take full damage, jump up here, jump, press E, no full damage. And now this is like technically like cheating, so it will be kickable because on my screen, on everybody else's screen, it's kind of like getting away from the main topic of like flinging. But if I press E here and I move, everybody thinks that I'm still over there because that's where I am because I'm desynced. Then I press E again, then I teleport all the way over here because if I press E and then try and walk around this wall and then unfreeze, I'll despawn because the game tries and teleports to me through the wall. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to fling up into places. With regular fling, we'll begin with this macro. So basically what you want to do is you want to find a voltable object as I had stated prior. You got to go prone with control. You can't actually uh, press C twice because that'll change up the, uh, the other macros later. So press control, vault, and then space. And then you would press E quite quickly like this. And then you would fly away. Now this is, uh, I was behind a wall there, but this is good for getting across like, like places on the map that you can't really get to, but it's not really like insanely good for like doing out of bounds. Like I could probably get over here with it, but there's a pretty good chance I'll despawn because it doesn't actually give me very much vertical height. It's only horizontal height. Like I went over here, but yeah, I despawned. Anyways, onto the next macro. This one is going to be super fling. Now you can do this one legitimately, but it's just um, it's a lot trickier, I'm going to be honest. So yeah, I have the same directly. I'll also put this in the description. So you just run it as admin, as with the other one as well. Just I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, I'll give you another little quick demonstration uh, in case you want to figure this out. Click edit. And then basically, this is my side mouse button. You can make this X. You can make it E. Uh, I have E as um, the desync for this one, so it doesn't actually go in. But preferably, I have it set to my mouse button. Now, if you have your controls set to anything other than my controls, uh, then this would probably not work. Um, okay, so that's basically the macro. You just have to change the directory, and then it should work. So now that I have it activated, if you press your auto hotkey macro, it should make you crash down and then jump up and then freeze your game. So basically, you don't actually need to put in those controls. You just have to press the uh, auto hotkey macro and then you'll go flying. But then, you saw that, I despawned. Well, how do we avoid the despawning? Well, good thing that we already have a macro for this. So another good little perk about this is that you can do it on corners. So if I do it on here, I can fly all the way up here and I did despawn and I can even chuck a grenade to show you. I am not dead. I can actually fly up from there, from that corner with this macro and then desyncing. So you can go like a lot further up in the sky with this. Basically you fly up into the sky and if you desync as you're um in the sky, you'll also teleport back. Just keep that in mind. You have to be like on the thing and then you have to go towards the edge so you don't despawn and you press it again. I'll give you like a few demonstrations on like what to use this for, like how useful it is, because there are obviously some spots in this map that are really, really juicy. Like everybody knows that Derek is the most juicy spot, uh, juicy map to actually do out of bounds on. So there's actually a little barrier right there. So if we go and do this, 
If I go here, boom, be a fist. Oh, I did it because I'm a flipping beast. Now, if I wait four seconds, I should be all good. There we go. Make sure you stand next to the edge. It's a little bit tricky, but yeah, you can just come right next to here, and then that's where you will um, unfreeze your game, and then you won't despawn when you fly over here. Next up, we have the Uber Fling. Now, with this one, you will have to change your frame rate with either block strap, which is pretty bannable i think i think you could get banned for doing it because what it does is say for instance you said it's like five fps in this game you move like an absolute fucking slug dude you do not move at all but thankfully we're not setting it to five frame rate we're setting it to 23 so who knows if you get banned for this i mean i personally haven't but if you use f flags that's obviously very bannable because you're physically altering the game but say for instance if you have if you already have a really bad laptop that can only run it at like five frames per second then you basically just have free cheats on your computer because it's so dog shit but say for instance you don't want to use box trap and you have nvidia we'll do nvidia first you want to come down here open your system tray with this little icon right click this and click on control panel now with this we'll be able to alter the game's frame rates personally but unfortunately you can't go beneath 20 fps you'll have to use like block strap for that if you want to set it to like below that but you don't need to for this instance so you click on manage 3d settings program settings and click on roblox vr or just roblox play better.exe it'll do that for every instance of roblox you have on your computer so if we scroll all the way down or not all the way down maybe like halfway max frame rate use click on on and then set it to 23 i believe <clears throat> is the frame rate that you want Click on apply and then restart Roblox. I don't think you actually need the uh, vault macro for this one from the uh, super fling. It's just a regular, it's like the regular fling. So you basically press control, alt, and then space. And you can see how I flew up into the air, but I didn't despawn. That's so weird. And also I went insanely high. Very odd. So for instance, you're on like crane site revamp. You're like, oh, where on earth could I go with my insanely good verticality? I don't know where on earth I could go. Oh yes. Oh fuck yes. Chuck a grenade just to confirm. Oh yeah. Now that we're on Derek, the pro strat is to vault off of this, fly up there, obviously freeze beforehand. And you want to sit in a little pocket there and then unfreeze. So obviously I should be able to do that first try because I'm a legend. There we go, that's better. We jump over here. Should be all good because it's a direct line of sight from here to here. Now, if I chuck a juicy little grenade. Oh, I died. Make sure you don't jump, by the way, if you're up here. You'll just spawn of environment. Basically, uh, that's it. Uh, if you do have any questions, ask them in the comments, obviously. But uh, this this is uh, basically all that I really know at the moment. I do have more tech that I can demonstrate, but that's only if you guys really want it. Okay, let's be real. Okay, I wouldn't leak all my tech unless you guys actually needed it. I like... I don't know, activating grenades wherever you want. Like, I don't know, activating like an airstrike. Wouldn't that be so cool, guys? I'm sure you guys would really like to see that. So make sure to drop, like, and subscribe.